Hi guys. So um, I've had a lot of requests to see finished pieces and I have got about, oh, I don't know, maybe 25 paintings to possibly show you. Um, this one is Ethereal Passage and um, I'm not sure if you can see it. This was I would have to say my all-time favorite, um, but I wanted to show you guys as, let me see if we can get you in here. All right. See, now this would be the perfect setup, but uh, the colors are just beautiful. It's been varnished and it is going in a show this weekend. Um, it's a two-day show, and it was my first show last year to ever display my artwork, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it this year. So that is Ethereal Passage, the dried result. I'm going to put you guys back up here. It's going to be a lot easier if I just prop you up. Um, let me see. All right. So that is Ethereal Passage. The gold is just beautiful in this painting. I use the gold a lot in my paintings. Um, honestly, I wish I could find something that would remotely be as um, beautiful, but alas, I have not yet found one, but I haven't really been experimenting much. When I find something I like, I stick to it. Uh, a lot of you will notice that I use the same colors in combinations with each other or, um, you know, and add a color here and there, it, it happens. But I love the colors, so I stick with them and uh, it really draws the eye. So this is Ethereal Passage. It's in a floating frame and it's 20 by 20. So here it goes. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the 20 by 20s that I've done. Here is this one. Let me see if you guys can see it. Yeah. Sorry for the glare of the light, um, but it is what it is. It's got some beautiful detail work. So that is that. I'm going to do a video also um, once my uh, display is set up. We've worked really hard and have made 10 mesh walls framed. And um, to be able to hang the paintings, those uh, painting walls, you know, the artist walls that you would use to display your artwork at an art show, they're pretty expensive. So I don't have that kind of money and I wasn't gonna spend six to $700 or $800 on walls to be able to hang my paintings. So I just decided I would frame and make my own and hopefully it'll work out. Last year I used Lattice at the last minute because I was accepted into the art show last minute um, so I whipped it together in, you know, seven to 10 days and that was what we used, but it was really quite difficult to maneuver the paintings. We had to wire them on and it was just a pain in the butt. Anywho, so here is another one. This is one of my three part series. I'm not sure if you guys are getting good, good anything here. There we go. Um, so that is, I believe, the one named In the Middle. <clears throat> this one I did recently, and it's just stunning. Um, once it was varnished. You see all the gold.
beautiful lines. So that one is done and going in to the show. I feel like I need a bigger tent. <laughs> I just want, I can't make a decision on what to show and what not to show. And so I have this one. Yeah, you guys can see that one. I love this one. Even if it's a big giant gold blob there, it really is a beautiful piece. Somebody will like it. There's that one. Uh, that's the other, uh, that's the third piece of my three part series of in the beginning, in the middle and the end. Um, this is the final fury. It's like a developing storm and it, it's just beautiful. I know I've shown these um, before dried all together outside a while back. You can see that video further down in my YouTube. It's only a couple minutes long at most. So, all right, and here is in the beginning. And this one dried beautifully with the golds. I'm really excited about those. All right, let's see. Um, here is this one. I'm gonna name this one Under the Sea. It's got the cutest little clams up there. Can you see them? There you go. I'm definitely not set up to, to video display things. The lighting in my house isn't the best either. Um, so I, I can't just hang them on a wall and go from there. But this piece is just fantastic. I love it. Um, definitely an unexpected outcome. I think my ring pour was not tight enough and that's why I get these larger blobs. All right. There is this one, which was an open cup pour. And I think I had botched it, so I was gonna scrape the whole canvas, but then once I was scraping it all, I just sort of stretched it all back out and this is what I got. Very beachy. Okay, now. I have this one. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see, but it's got some glitter pieces, glitter bits there. You can see them right up there. But that piece is fantastic. It's one of my favorites, so I'll definitely be sad to see it leave. Yeah, the light, there we go. All right, I did this one recently as well. Look at that gold and those lines. So I'm gonna get like a professional photographer to take some pictures um, and uh, start a website where I can sell them. I mean, I can sell them now. If you're interested, just hit me up. Um, okay, here is Cloud Candy in her glory. She is beautiful. So dimensional. I feel like I just reach right in there. With some gold puffies. So there she is. She is all dry. Let's see. Here is this one. Look at all that gold. Beautiful details in this one. Um, I believe this one was milk paint. Yeah, I think so. I think it was milk paint. 
I'd have to go back into my videos to find it, but I'm pretty certain um, I did a couple of milk paint ones that look like this. And then there's this one. Some people saw an elephant. Some people saw an ant eater. You know, who knows? But it is dry. It is finished. The metallics, which I think won't really come out fully until I coat it. But you can see it is metallic. The golds, the copper, the bronze. And this piece is just great. I'm tripping over stuff. Okay, this one might, might be too big for the frame. <laughs> um, let me see if I can see it. Oh, there we go. It is not coated yet, but when it is, it's gonna look amazing. The colors are still vibrant on this piece after it dried, um, but I know once I varnish it, they're just gonna really, really pop. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it ready for tomorrow, but we'll see. You never know. All right. Here is this little guy. All coated. The metallic blue just looks really great against the black. So this one is done, as is the little white one, but it's in the other room drying, so I don't want to handle that while it dries. This one, I don't believe I did a video on it, um, but I love the, the gold cells in it. I think it's really quite a cool piece. Definitely different than my usual. I've got some swirls in here, some dip and drags, but that'll, that'll be a different piece and probably a breath of fresh air for somebody who's looking for something that's not blue. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay, I have this piece. Can we see it? Oh, the colors aren't coming out. The gold is in there. This is more of a salmon-y pink color. I'm not sure. It looks a little orange on there, but it is not orange. Um, and then we have these pretty gold lines in here. Right here you can see them, but when you go like this, they disappear. But there they are. And they leave great lines. All right, so I have this piece. Looks like an angry ocean. So there's that. That one's all finished. Ready to go. It's been wired. And here is this piece. All that gold. It's so pretty. I wish you all were right here watching this or looking at these because in person these are just so different. All right. You have this one, which I believe I have a video on. I just think it's so pretty. Oh, I think I'm just biased. I think they're all pretty, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm running out of words to say. Maybe I should just stop talking and showing you the video, the uh, paintings. So, anywho, 
there is that pretty little number all right this next painting I have um, was I was inspired by Sylvie Escondida she is on Instagram under Sylvie I think it's 1400 um, 1400 could if you just start typing Sylvie 1400 she'll come right up and this is a pour made with her medium and whatnot. Let me just get you guys up here. Minus the the glare, but these colors are beautiful. I've got the gold, I've got gosh, I think there are oh I can't even recall how many colors are in this. I'd have to go back and watch the video. But there were so many colors. So it just turned out really pretty. And I used treadmill silicone. And I actually had forgotten. I don't know how, because if you just look at it, it, it looks like silicone was used. I had forgotten that I had not cleaned it because it had been so long. Um, so I sprayed it with the varnish and I got this really, really cool effect where it almost looks like it's, it's just water on top of the canvas. And I absolutely love it. It gives the painting just a totally different um, effect and dimension. So it, it's really quite cool. I love it. I don't use silicone very often in my paintings at all. I don't like having to clean them off because um, you can never always get all of it per se. All right, and there's this very simple piece. Um, it's got some beautiful gold elements in it. And um, so I just think very calm very calming piece <clears throat> not in your face here's another milk paint pour this one I think um, I called it galaxy I mean these details are just amazing in this whole whole piece there's just so much to look at so much to gravitate towards. Looks like I have somebody has somebody's lost their dentures in the upper top corner. <laughs> um, but I love this piece, and I'm really excited to uh, see who's buying it uh, this weekend because I know it's going to go away rather quickly. All right, I hope. I hope. I don't know, but I hope. All right, this one here was like a, a webbing with the gold. I think this may have been a milk paint pour too, but I'm not sure. I do not that I recall of do a video of it, but there's a few videos up on my YouTube, so it's possible. It was painted a while ago. I actually got this canvas from Hobby Lobby. I got a series of canvases, the linen ones. They were on clearance, so I was able to get you know, a ton of um, canvases. I think I got about 20 for like 30 bucks. And their linen line is more expensive than their regular line. Um, but I love, love pouring on them. They, they're just really fantastic canvases. Anywho, all right, next up, let's see what we've got. Here is a ring pour with the gold. This is not varnished yet. I haven't gotten to it. It's something I will varnish today and go from there. I use Rust-Oleum Spray-On Gloss UV Protectant Varnish. Um, I find sometimes one coat will do it, but I like to do two coats just to be certain.
And this is my painting of, I'm definitely not going for this, but it ended up being this. It's a couple videos back. Um, I like how it turned out. I didn't like it at the time, but I do now. So this one will be varnished today as well. Part of me, I have the hiccups. Um, I think it's, it's gonna be great. It's got all this gold in between everything in these lines. And um, so they'll definitely show up when I varnish it. Okay. Love this piece. The blues and purples are so cool. Moving you guys around here. There we go. Um, let's see. All the gold in this area. There, there's not a whole lot of gold everywhere in this one. It's mainly just in this area. Um, but I love the effect that it gave it. If you look at it from one angle, you don't see it. If you look at it from this angle, you can see it. And it's just, it's really neat. All right, next up. Is this piece. I love this piece. And I'm hoping that when I put it in a floating frame, it's just gonna look even better. The metallics. Uh, I think every color but the teal is a metallic. Um, and there's, this is not black. This is actually, um, this right here is actually indigo blue, which will definitely show up when I varnish it as well. So I love all those lines in there, all the gold and the copper. Although it's not shining. How about this one? I'm sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. All right. I feel like I have too many paintings that I want to put in the show, but I'm also nervous because I want something for everybody to like. So it's, everybody's different, I suppose. All right, this was uh, just to pour everything on canvas and pray for the best. <laughs> So that one is finished. Let me move this back a little bit. Um, it does need to be varnished, but it is dry. And I love the pinks. Okay, here is another that does contain silicone. I have not um, coated this canvas yet. So we shall see when I do if it it will do the same thing and bubble up, but it'll look cool when it's done. Has some great colors in there. Pinks, the reds, the turquoise, the purples. It all just came together beautifully. All right. I really wanted to do this outside, but then I realized pulling everything outside would be more of a hassle than anything. So I'm doing it in my kitchen. All right, so this was a milk paint pour, sandwich pour, I believe. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'd have to again, look back onto my videos. Um, but the metallics are really gonna pop. The turquoise right now, or the aquamarine, um, isn't as shiny as the gold, but once it's varnished, it will definitely do its thing. Okay, Golden Coral. I remember that name. Uh, down a couple in my feed on YouTube, there's this piece. And it's not varnished yet, but it is beautiful. Um, that golden high flow gold or fluid gold, high flow, yep, yeah, it's definitely high flow. Sorry, the golden iridescent gold high flow and a little squeeze bottle 
one of these really is this is yellow not the gold but it's in a in one like this um really is a showstopper and i'm unbelievably pleased with this piece i've never had a result where it actually looked like it was watercolor so this was done with just uh, i believe just paints um it's in the video I'm not sure if it's because the paint was thinner than the white or or what, but I love how it just fanned out and created this look of watercolor. Um, but that is golden coral. Okay, I'm going to be back. I got to grab some more paintings for you guys to see, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I also um, have grabbed a few more pieces. I mean, Lord knows I have so many, but um, not all that had videos on them. So this piece right here, if you can see, maybe you can't. Look at the gold. Oh, all right, there we go. Look at all that gold in between those little tiny pearls. So this one was done with Liquitex base, the uh, Liquitex pouring medium. I'm like, what is that noise out there? Um, so they made this and I just absolutely love it. It is so pretty in the gold in those cells in between the little pearl like cells is really, really nice. All right, and let's bring it in a little bit. Here is this piece. Love it, absolutely love this piece. It is so cool. So we'll put that there. One of my recently posted videos, the ring pour. So let me span out because this is clearly not working. All right. All the gold. And one of my rounds. The colors are beautiful. The golds, the aquamarines, the indigo, of course. That's when I was on my indigo kick. I'm out of it and I've ordered some, so hopefully I'll be able to paint with it again soon. I have this one. Get this one out of the way. All right. This is such a great piece with the greens and the magenta, violet. And it will be displayed as such. Um, got They did a great job uh, wiring the backs. Ugh, my messy counter with all my paint on it. <laughs> So, that one is that one. Next, I have this piece. 
This piece is so cool. The indigo, the violet, you can still see some of it in there. It's in the veins or in between the little puffy clouds. But that one is all wired to go also. Oh, the glare, it's killing me. I really need to get some studio lighting or whatnot. There we go. And that one is ready to go. It's been wired, ready for the show. All right, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I have not um, fully prepped it for the show, but the golden squid. <laughs> One of my favorite pours. Um, I didn't even see it. I didn't even know it was a squid. Didn't know it even looked like one. I put it on Facebook and I asked people to name it because I really liked it. And everybody started calling it either calamari or the golden squid. And I'm super pleased with their decisions on names. So that is what I have dubbed the, the golden squid. Um, the gold does not come out. There we go. It is just so awesome. I love it. Um, there's definitely milk paint in this one. So that one is that. I really, really hope somebody scoops that up at the show because I don't think I could ever duplicate this one again. And then I have this piece wired and ready to go with the pearls. I love the pearl effect. Bonnie Keen is a master of the effect and uh, I'm such a huge fan of hers. Uh, last, she is not on YouTube that I know of, but I, she is on Instagram. Fluid, uh, I think it's Fluid Keens or, yeah, Fluid Keen. And she's just the master, the starter of all of this that I can recall of. Um, this technique is not the easiest technique, although I know fellow artists such as Elise Fournier has uh, mastered it as well, um, either with milk paint or before the milk paint boom, it was uh, with the Liquitex medium. But she's uh, become rather successful as well. I know Molly's artistry um, she's, she's an amazing artist too. And she does these and, um, it, it looks great. I, I love the effect. I'm not good at getting the effect constantly. I'm not sure what I do, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope, uh, you're pleased. I have many other paintings, but once I get them up, um, at the show this weekend, I don't think all these are gonna be there, but I might bring them just in case one sells, I could take its place, um, or it can take its place. Um, so, uh, just a ton of work. I've taken the day off, I was gonna paint, but that is not happening. I have just way too much to do in preparation for this show. It is a two day show. Uh, I think there's close to 100 no, maybe 50 to 75 vendors that it's strictly art. Um, no crafts, no tiles, no jewelry, nothing like that. So, um, and you have to be the, the artist that made it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I won't get a thousand questions to see the dried pieces. I just get so excited about the piece when I'm painting it that I just go ahead and pour it instead of, I mean, pour it and paint it and post it. And I just can't wait for the dried piece to be finished. Um, I have other pieces that are actually packed up right now. Um, so I have a lot of wrapping to do. I've got to wrap all these in bubble wrap. I've got to take some up to get wired for hanging and I've got to put some uh, hanging contraptions on them. You guys have a great weekend. Um, if I don't say hello or respond to your comments, it's just that I'm so very busy and stressed out. <laughs>
Have a great day. Bye.